Hello, Pastor Joel at Chico First here. And as you may have noticed, I haven't put out a video in a little bit. And that's because since the end of April through last week, I've been on three different trips. I went to the Northern California and Nevada Assemblies of God District Council, and then from there to our Northern Region Pastors Prayer Summit, and then finally, our week and a half trip to Bozeman, Montana to move our kids out of their apartment and move Maya back here to Chico. And while all of those things were good in a lot of ways, they still, I still seem to come back from that tired, stressed out, and even a little discouraged. And so Monday, I spent some time reading the Bible and praying. And what I found was, was God's peace and God's encouragement. And I read from Psalm 125, and this is one of the passages from our weekly reading at Chico First. Psalm 125 says, the, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. And as the mountains surrounded Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people from, the for, from this time forth and forevermore. And so Psalm 125 states three simple profound truths. One, those who trust in the Lord are safe and secure. Two, those who trust in the Lord have a secure inheritance. Three, those who trust in the Lord have a secure future. And some people seem as if they could just withstand anything that comes their way. They have an inner calm and resilience that seems to deny any attacks against them and gives them a rugged, true grit that's just admirable. Christians aren't meant to be people who are, they are meant to be people who are loving and kind, but they're also strong. We are be the people who love our neighbors, but also those who resist evil and can be counted on to act with self-control and self-discipline. We are to have the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and so forth, and also the armor of God, right? What's the secret? to being this kind of Christian who can stand firm even under the attacks that come against us, who has that kind of resilience that can keep going even in the midst of the storm. According to this psalm, it all comes down to trust. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, who cannot be moved, but abides forever. In the next couple of verses, the psalm then describes the impenetrable fortress that is Mount Zion. It's like a state-of-the-art our aircraft carrier with supporting battle group. It's not going to get into trouble when faced by a gust, giant gust of wind or even the waves that come, or even by a run, gun-running rickety motorboat. The psalmist is saying that those who trust in the Lord are like that. That is, by trusting in God, they are aligning themselves to His purpose for His people. And His purpose for His people is unshakable. So we are called to trust in Him. Lean on Him in prayer. Trust Him for your past. That is, we're weaving together all the ups and downs of your personal history into a pattern that makes sense. For your present even, that the unknown of the immediate now is all under the instruction of His sovereign care. And then also for your future. And that is the what-ifs of the unknown still to come. They're overcome by what, by the what will be of the future hope of the glory of God. Trust God in your life. And that's what I found as I spent time in prayer and spent time in His Word, that as I trust God, that peace would come over me. And now I'm ready to go with what God has for me because of His presence and power and that He is with me. I'm praying for you. God bless.